In this amateur stadium in northern Syria, an unusual football team holds daily practice. Some are civilians, others rebel veterans, but all players have one thing in common. They lost a limb in Syria's devastating civil war, which has claimed some 340,000 lives. The training takes place in Idlib, the last northwest province not controlled by the regime of Bashar al-Assad. There are many difficult things, such as running, or when you sometimes see the ball in front of you but aren't able to follow it. Sometimes the ball passes in front of me and I want to shoot with my left leg, only to realize that my left leg is amputated. The team trains three times a week for up to two hours per session. A physiotherapy center brought together 19 amputee patients for the initiative. Abdul Qadr is a rebel veteran from Homs. In 2015, he lost a leg while fighting near Aleppo. With the training, I started doing things that I could not do before, like lifting a gas can, things that were difficult. I feel my body is stronger than before. I've started to be able to do more things at home and outdoors. Today is game day. The charity group, Shafak, organized a friendly exhibition match. The care center had the idea to train them psychologically and mentally. We have reached a good level. The next step is to take them to the gym. We will train at table tennis and finally we will go to the pool. The physiotherapy center has already treated some 900 people suffering from broken bones and lost limbs. Their objective, restore the patient's bodies and their spirits.